everyone, today I want to talk about SQL 2016. So available June 1st, uh, the time of this recording, that's a week away. Uh, you may be seeing this after it's already available. A couple of things stood out to me when I was taking a look at the new, the new, op, the new licensing. So there's actually uh, four editions. It, there's going to be Developer, which is free, which I've talked about in the past. Uh, the Express Edition, also free. And then Standard and Enterprise. One thing that's missing there, BI Edition. So Microsoft has uh, removed the BI Edition. They are saying that there is going to be a transition so that those of you who have been using BI uh, since it's been in the last two, um, two versions of SQL, uh, there will be some sort of transition. They don't want you to go without those uh, features and functionality. So there will be something, but I don't know what that is yet. So I'll share when I do uh, learn more about that. There are BI uh, features available in all four editions, at least uh, from a basic reporting and analytics standpoint. As you get into standard and enterprise, uh, there's uh, more uh, there's more BI options, including like mobile and things like that. Um, the other thing that really stood out to me is that uh, SQL Standard now has gone from a 16 core uh, edition limitation to it is uh, 24 cores, and that might not seem like a big deal, except when it comes to SQL standard, if you're licensing per core, then you only license to the addition limit. So in 2012, 2014, when that was 16 cores, even if you had a 20 core or a 40 core machine, you only had to license 16. Now you have to license up to 24 cores. So that could be a, you know, that could be some higher costs for a lot of customers out there. Uh, it's something to watch out for when you are uh, planning a you know, SQL deployment. If you have been licensing 16 cores on your 20 core machine, you're not going to have to budget for uh, all of those uh, physical cores on, on that server. So something to, to be careful of. A uh, couple things that you de I definitely wanted to make sure you're aware of since SQL 2016 is uh, it's, it's basically available. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns, go ahead and leave those in the comments. I hope this is helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one.